What's up everyone, it's your boy Norm Red 89 here bringing you another ranking video today and of course you know Prey is out, it just dropped on Hulu and that means we have another Predator film in the franchise and today we're going to rank all the films against each other and of course this is just my list, my personal opinion and we're going to be including Alien vs Predator and Alien vs Predator Requiem in this list as well so we have seven films to get through. Let's get into this. Let's do it. Roll it. in terms of the Predator franchise, this is a franchise that I could I could return to often. I just have a lot of fun with it. Even the mediocre ones that I kind of medium like and I'm just like okay with, I can still return to and I like them because it's like slocky fun. I love the Predator character and I like sci-fi horror. That's like my second favorite in terms of horror subgenre. But right now as it stands, I think we have three really good Predator films and then the rest are kind of just mediocre, not as good. So let's kick this list off with bottom of the barrel, number seven for me, coming in last place. This might be a hot take. This might turn a couple people off in terms of it because I know there's a lot of people who have a nostalgic love for this one, and that's Predator 2. Yes, Predator 2 is my least favorite of the franchise just because following this first film, I think that's the main problem for me is that Predator 2 follows this film, and Predator is one of the best greatest sci-fi horror films and what I expected from Predator 2 and I, I like the concept of having a predator being in like a you know an LA but like a crime ridden LA kind of like a futuristic you know uh, like LA that's got this cop drama like you know lethal there's a lot of lethal weapon characters in here Danny Glover and all this stuff you know we got Gary Busey in here too as well but it was never a story I could grab onto. And it just, like I said, the, it feels like a dip in quality in terms of graphics, too. I feel like the Predator has better graphics, and it's more simplistic in the story that it's trying to tell, and that's what's better. Predator 2 is when they first kind of started to try to complicate things, and it just, it doesn't work for me. Like, I've, I've watched this one many times, and it just doesn't work for me. Like I said, I can still watch this one. This is probably like a 6 or a 7 out of 10 movie for me kind of thing. But it's just one that I don't return to often, and yeah, is my least favorite in terms of the franchise. Coming in at number 6 is going to be... Alien vs. Predator Requiem, and this is one that actually as a kid I used to have above Alien vs. Predator. I used to be really high on this film because it kind of turned Predator into a slasher genre type film, but even though that's never what Predator was, but I like the Predator in this film. He's a freaking badass. He goes balls to the wall, kills like a bunch of xenomorphs, goes at the humans. Like this Predator is like the Punisher of Predators in this film. It's just this film really is criminally too dark in terms of the lighting. You really can't see that much going on screen and that takes away from the action and the enjoyment of the film because there's so many dark sequences. Like this whole entire movie pretty much takes place in the nighttime in one night and it's just so dark. I don't mind the story elements in it and the acting is kind of serviceable but it's just so dark and the cinematography sucks and you can't really tell geography wise like what is actually happening in the film so that kind of bothers me as well and yeah AVP Requiem like I said as a kid I used to be really high on this one like as a teen when I first saw this one and yeah this one it's just it doesn't stick with me now number five is going to be Shane Black's The Predator and this one I can have a lot of fun with even though my main problem with this one I'll get right off the bat The Predator the main problem is the third act the third act that last 25 minutes it just goes bonkers and it's too chaotic it's just a mess it's just a complete mess but I actually enjoy the characters in this film I know it's a much more I would say comical version of Predator film and this is probably the heaviest comedy driven predator film out there but i think shane black actually does a pretty good job it does suck because you know there was troubled production but i like the cast in this film i don't think they do that bad you know tom jane olivia munn i think they're all pretty serviceable in this film it's just yeah that third act is really what drags this film down and the overuse of cgi that really takes me out of the film as well Rolling in at number four is going to be the very first Alien vs. Predator. And I know this is a PG-13 film and that's something like uh, the negative is kind of drained off over years. Like I could kind of overlook that. It's just 
a better story than AVP Requiem and what they were trying to set up. It definitely deserves an R rating and it should have like an unrated cut. That would be amazing. But I think this first Alien vs. Predator film was a great uh, like versus movie and tying them together and using the lore, it did a really good job of trying to build like a mythology behind it. And yeah, AVP Requiem really did, like after watching it years and years back now, it really did take a dive, nose dive compared to this first film. Cause I really think the creators of this one were really trying to elevate it and create a good mythological background that can tie these two universes together that would continue on. Like if this was a slam dunk and then AVP Requiem was a slam dunk, we could be having a third or possibly even a fourth film and then like doing all these films tying Prometheus and you know Predator together and like it, the universe and the track that it went on could be totally different from what we got now if they continued with like the story and the strength that they were going with this film like I said just rated R a little bit of rated R version there's some characters I don't like in this film and like the fact that a lot of the Predators get taken out really fast, that does bother me. It's mostly a Xenomorph film. It's a very pro Xenomorph film. <clears throat> but I think the Predator teaming up with the human at the end to take on the Queen, that's an epic moment. Like there's a lot of epic payoff moments in this film and it's definitely worth a watch and I do return to this film quite often. Like Alien vs. Predator, I've probably seen this film like probably like 20, 25 times or something like that. Now we're here at the top three, and if you haven't yet, consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel if you want more content like this. And now, rolling in at the number three spot is going to be our new and latest film, Prey. And like I said in the beginning of my intro, or kind of the beginning, I said there's three great Predator films right now, and Prey is one of them. Man, what they did with this film, it is kind of criminally messed up that this didn't get a theater release because I think this film would have done a really good job in the theaters. But it's streaming on Hulu if you currently want to check it out. And I think it's a very new, I'm, I'm going to try to keep this non-spoiler. I think it's a very new and inventive story and it goes back to basics. I like our characters and it has characters that actually learn and supportive characters that help our main character. Like it's great, even a dog character that helps our main character. So it's got all these elements in it and it takes time to build and spend time with its character to build up the story so you care about these people. So Prey I think was a slam dunk, really inventive and I hope, I really do hope that they do a sequel to this film and like, I know, like, I don't know, I hope they maybe get a theater release for that sequel because I think Prey would have done a fucking slam dunk job in the theaters as a theater release because yeah, this, this movie, really did was a, totally worth the watch and the wait and i think they should totally make up a sequel for this one and continue off of this story because like i said they went back to basics and really created a good uh, uh beginning stepping stone to making new predator films coming in at number two and this one might be at the number two spot like mainly just because i do have a fondness for this film i love robert rodriguez and he's a heavy uh, influence in this film and producing it and that's Predators with Adrian Brody and Danny Trejo and all them like oh man Mahershala Ali is in this film as well too Topher Grace like it's it's a wild film and I know this is more of a safe kind of sequel in terms of it's very similar to the first one like let's get a group of badasses and like put them against the Predator but there's elements in this film that they do different from the first one that I like in terms of there's multiple predators, the fact that we get to see the dogs that the predators use to hunt their game. You know, we got all these cool creative characters that like have wild banter and I think they do a good job. And I think the third act is money. I really do like the third act in this film. I think that's what kind of stepped it up a little bit above Prey. I had a badass, amazing time with Prey, but I think the third act just a little bit Predators is what made it just a sliver, put it at this second spot because I have such a good time with that third act and when it pays off, it pays off. Like I really do like Predators and you know, like I said, being it that it's a Robert Rodriguez produced film and you can see that influence in it, all the stuff that's in it, like I said, it, it just was my jam for sure. But there has to be a top dog at the number one spot. We all know it's Predator still with Arnie from 19, I think 1987. Yeah, this is with John McTiernan. Like this film, it's just, it's so hard to beat. You can't really beat this film. That's like I said, not to knock the sequels. I think Predators and Prey 
are easily just as arguably, if somebody had those at their top spot and they had it and they wanted to argue, I probably wouldn't fight it because I respect their opinion, you know what I mean? Because I'd be like, that's badass, dude, that you have like kind of the balls to put it at number one. But I think Predator, the first one, is still the best of the franchise. It just, all those characters are so unique. And that first film really has that best vibe of you really don't know what the Predator is until you see it. It really does play with you and none of the other films are able to do that. The other films have tried to mimic it and do that aspect, like even Predator 2. Predator 2 tries to do that, but we already know what the Predator is, so we don't need the mystery. Like the cops in LA don't know, but we already know what it is. So like I said, there's been films tried to mimic and do this formula, but it doesn't work. Predators, it worked for me because we already knew it was the Predator, but they decided to take us to an alien planet. So like I said, that's another aspect of that film I do love. But yeah, this one just stands the test of time, Predator. Like I said, you can watch this film today, for real. It stands the test of time. And I think 20 years from now, this film is probably going to be heralded as the best Predator film. But thanks for sticking around with me all for this ranking of the Predator franchise. And of course, like I said in the intro, this is just my list, my thoughts and my opinions. I would love to hear from all of you in the comments section. Share your list of the Predator franchise. And of course, like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing on the channel. I got some Arrow video titles recently that I picked up. So we're going to be talking about that that I got from the Arrow video sale. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. You don't want to miss it. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.